In this second module of Chapter 9, Module 9.2, I present a brief overview of the different types of techniques for identifying individuals in the wild, followed by a demonstration of the basic mark recapture concept. Accurate estimates of age or size-dependent survival and transitions in state are critical to demographic models. The best data, in other words, the data with minimal error, is obtained when 100% of the marked individuals can be accounted for at each census interval, and the fate, that is survival and or state, of each individual can be determined unambiguously. However, for many mobile species in complex habitats, some portion of the marked individuals are not accounted for at a given census, even if they are still alive. Error is then introduced into estimates of population size that can complicate demographic accounting. Methods have been developed to estimate the survival rates and transition probabilities from data sets where marked individuals are not recaptured at each census. Mark recapture methods. Methods for estimating survival using mark recapture data all begin with a set of individuals who are marked at time t equal 1, and then each is seen or not at each subsequent census interval. Individual sighting histories can then be used to estimate survival. Marking and tagging individuals. The methods for marking individuals fall into three broad categories. Natural marks and or tags refer to the unique natural markings or properties of individuals. Animals' natural markings can be used for some snakes, this is ventral patterns, lizards, dorsal and throat patterns, salamanders, spot patterns, swans, bill patterns, osprey, head markings, felids, including tigers, lions, cheetahs, and leopards, uh, many times have unique coat patterns, giraffes, coat patterns also, cetaceans, fluke patterns, and notches, and rhinoceros, a horn shape, and wrinkle patterns. There's also camera trapping, DNA sampling using hair snares, and acoustic sampling, for example, for birds, bats, and whales, are also all considered forms of natural, non-invasive techniques for identifying individual animals. Non-invasive markings range from neck collars for, say, ungulates, leg, arm, and wing bands for amphibians, reptiles, birds, small rodents, and bats, and backpacks to trailing devices, tapes, streamers, and external dyes and paints. These techniques can also include chemical markers, transponders, tattoos, ear, jaw, and wing tags, hot iron freeze and chemical branding, feather and toenail clipping, and shell notchings. Invasive marking can include internal transponders and tags. They provide reference to the literature and URLs for websites describing various marking methods for all major categories of animals including amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals. Incomplete data, both the concept and the limitations of mark recapture studies, are illustrated in this diagram. There are always some individuals that are never captured due to either chance or to their behavior such as being so-called trap shy, individual A for example. Thus, not all individuals are brought into the study once they are marked and released, even though they may live through several sampling periods. The data in this figure provide an illustration of um, imperfect detection because across census periods, not all uh, living individuals were detected during each sampling occasion, for example, individuals B through E. In other words, the data points of zero are sampling zeros rather than structural zeros. This means that individuals still alive at a given sampling period often need to be verified as alive based on captures at later sampling periods. Additionally, the majority of individuals will experience a post-captive period prior to death since capture efficiencies for most studies are typically far less than 100%, individuals B, D, and E. This means that age or date of last capture is not an accurate proxy for oldest age at death. Mark recapture may not always yield accurate survival estimates. For example, for the data in this figure, whereas actual survival to sampling occasion number three was 100%, the verified survival was only 60%, three of five recaptures. The actual survival to sampling occasion number five was twice that of the verified survival. This ends module 9.2 of chapter nine.